the first thing we do is determine that the camshaft is on the base circle rather than the lobe so that we know that that's the lowest point that everything is going to be sitting. So we'll just give this a shot. This is just kind of a rough estimate of where I might need this. And we'll put the rocker arm on that. And ideally what we want is at the neutral non-open position we want the roller on the tip of the rocker arm to be about the center of the tip of the valve. And we're pretty close right now, actually. You could probably lengthen that valve push rod just a little bit. Nice thing about these, they're adjustable. They're just for, they're only for checking. So we can make changes on the fly without committing ourselves to any specific length. So I lengthened that a little bit and put it back on there. See what kind of a pattern we've got. And we're very getting very close to the center of that valve where we want it. Now the reason we want to do that is to keep the geometry of this rocker arm and of the entire valve train right in the center of the valve so that when it pushes everything down there isn't any wasted motion. There isn't any angular load that's actually bending the valve off in one direction or the other. We want it pushing it straight down. That way there'll be a lot less friction and a lot less chance for broken parts. And if you can take a look at this picture right here, I'll show you. Come on over. And I'll show you where that mark has to be. Right there. See that? Uh -huh. Tip of that, right on the end of that. So we've kind of got a witness mark that's right in the center. That's where we want to start with that. Okay. Right there. Now, because this is a hydraulic roller, which means that the lifter assembly has a roller on the bottom of it, but the upper part of it is just like most modern uh, lifters are in engines that don't have overhead camshafts and that they're hydraulically actuated. Now what we do now is we can take a, a measurement of this because there's no preload on it. I can measure this, add the amount of preload that I will be putting onto the lifter later on, which will be 50 thousandths, and just add that amount to this length and then we can order the correct length of push rod. Intake's done. Now we'll go over to the exhaust side. And what we want to do is when we check the intake, we make sure that the exhaust is just starting to open. That way we know that the intake lobe on the camshaft is on its base circle. When we go to check the exhaust side, what we do is we make sure that the intake valve opens first of all passes its full point and then comes back down to about between a quarter or a third of its remaining lift. At that point we know that the exhaust lobe is on its base circle. We can do the same thing over here. And we'll take this roughly adjusted push rod there and we'll make sure that our witness point on the tip of the valve is good. Let's see. Uh, it's not too bad. We can make that a little bit longer. looks pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more to that. I think that part of the job is done. It's out now. Measure them on the money. 
that's where we need to be. So I'll just take these push rods out now, measure them. Uh, one of our parts guys knows the ones we need and we'll order them in.